going up to McCall. We're doing some lake trout fishing, Mackinac. And the biggest lake trout in the state live here. Uh, some say the biggest lake trout in the world, but certainly the state. So we're going to try to get some. It is August uh, 18th. It's going to be about 100 something. degrees out there. No, it's not the 18th. It's like the 14th or something. It's the 14th. I think it's the 14th. It's the 14th. Right. August 4th. Mid-August. Mid-August, yeah. Uh, there's a heat wave. 100 degrees outside, so we're going to be fishing in 100 feet of water. Uh, and the trick in this fishing trip is to come home with some fish. I know a lot of people don't like to fish for lake trout in the middle of the summer, so we decided to do something that no one else does because maybe we're smarter than everybody else. Uh, maybe. Smarter, maybe. clever, clever, stupid, who knows. <laughs> maybe there's a reason why nobody fishes. We'll figure that out, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, the strategy, we're gonna go for kokanee first just because it's, in terms of sheer numbers, it's more kokanee than lake trout because lake trout eat kokanee. So we're gonna go for kokanee. Uh, we're going to figure out where they're biting. We're going to start trolling about 100 feet. That's what the tap shop here in town was telling me people were nailing them on. So we're going to look for kokanee at 100 feet. Uh, you know, fuck around with 15 feet up and down to that. Once you find uh, some kokanee, mark that on the map. Go 10 feet lower than that. Put on our lake trout baits and then troll at that depth. Uh, and then hopefully bring in some Mackinac to the boat. Limit is 6. They get big. 30 inches plus. You know, 40 pounds. That's what I'm talking about. Sounds great. I'm excited. Yeah, so this morning we decided that uh, there's no fish deep. They're actually shallower than we expected them to be. Here, wave them. There you go. Nice, good net. Good net. And uh, so what we're doing, we're following the riverbed. Um, as it flows south out of the lake and uh, we're trolling about 27 feet of water at these wedding rings and we keep picking up rainbows at about that depth so like that's a good one right there that's going in the live well Ooh. Rocks to the bottom, whoa, 78 feet, 77. We're at 60 and 50, so we'll be alright. 35, 70 feet, 69 feet, 68. Trying to get shallow on, it's up 64. Bottom. Oh yeah? Yeah. We're at 60. Okay, because we're at 30. You are at 30 feet all of a sudden. Put the engine in neutral. Neutral. That's, is that neutral or what? I don't know. Put it forward. Put it forward. Put it forward. We don't want the lines at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the bottom here. Shit. Sure. Sure, 28 feet. 28 feet? 28 feet, 27. What the fuck? This went from 100 feet to 26 feet, dude. It definitely looks like we know what we're doing. We're fishing, we're not catching. 
bottom's flat, 124 feet. You know, um, one of the most important things about fishing is staying hydrated and staying well fed. And so that's why I got this All-American Classic from Albertsons. You know, people waste their time with foot longs from Subway for five bucks. You might as well go to Albertsons, pay $6.99 and get a two pound sub complete with mustard, mayonnaise, and all the fixings. Mm, mm, mm. Feel it? It looks yeah. like there's fish is on there. It is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh we, you know it takes it takes a few hours to figure out where these things are. Holy shit. Oh that's a nice fish. Dude, Dude that's a nice fish. Get that net. I got it. Bring it over here. Don't let it get tangled in the uh holy shit. Dude, that's a that's a fish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Play it out, play it out. Be gentle with it, be gentle with it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, oh, let it run, let it run, let it run. Let it run. Alright, bring it over here now. Oh nice job, net in that. Woo! Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Nice, dude. That's a beautiful that's fish. A, that's a two-hand fish that's right there for you. Fish, right? Oh, oh, oh my God! He almost made it, dude. I almost made it. Get it in the live well. Dude. <laughs> There it is. Nice rainbow. Real nice rainbow. Dude, that's beautiful. Look at that spot of that things. Let's get some. Uh... Oh, it's a little cut up on the side, but uh, must be fighting other fish. Well, just caught a beautiful rainbow. Uh, what, at 30 feet? 26 feet. 26 feet. But we're in 40 feet of water. We're in 40 feet of water over here. Use this wedding ring, and uh, if you want to know why they call it a wedding ring, you know, first wedding ring I've ever used, but uh, you know, if I meet the right person, you never know. Uh, but what else we got here? This is the, what do they call this? That's a Dodger. This is the Dodger over here. That's a rainbow trout color. So what's, what's the general idea? What are we really doing here? We're okay, so to... take a look at that Dodger there. So that's a flat, that's gonna flash in the water and give some wobble to the bait behind it. And the other side's silver, like like you saw, look at that shine coming off of it. Underwater, it shines a lot too. Right. And then uh, underneath that Dodge, you see that plastic uh, piece there. It's, you can pull it a little bit. There's a little give to it. It's rubber, it's called a snubber. What that does is keep the hook in the fish's mouth. Uh, so look at all that metal between the line and the bait. So all that metal doesn't give at all. So if you hook a fish just line against that dodger, right. it's gonna rip the hook right out of its right. mouth. So the dodger keeps the keeps the line, give it a little give, and right. then you know follow that line down to the wedding ring there. So the wedding ring is actually pretty nice. So it's like a grub kinda. Yeah. With like a, with like a, well this is what it's a bronze. It's a bronze inline spinner. Bronze spinner right here, and yeah. then and this is just like a shiny thing. A shiny thing. I've heard of people saying using the wedding ring, use right? The wedding rings go crazy. Uh, Kokanee and rainbows love them. So and then you're like risking a real wedding ring. So yeah. You know I think it's mostly plastic. Well yeah. Yeah, but you throw that, you you bait that with some sweet corn. Right. Yeah, bait that with corn. some sweet corn and um, rinse and repeat. Keep catching them. Once you find out what depth they're at, then it's all about harvesting. So it looks like we were kind of figuring it out. Yeah, we figured it out. Oh, she's a fighter! Fight! 
Oh, yeah, there's another nice rainbow here. Cool. Nice work. Yeah, keep steering the boat. Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have that one. It's ripping the hook out of its mouth. Look at that. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Now we're fishing. Lake trout. That's a lake trout. Oh, it's a little one. That's what we're going for. Did that just make a noise? Yeah. It's a little. Are you going to let it go or what? Yeah, I'm going to let it go. This is a lake trap. Nice. That's what we're going for. We're at, this is at 40 feet we caught this thing at. Woo! It's <laughs> <laughs> a big wave in this lake. Yeah. Another little one, but uh, you know, it's a keeper. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it just snapped alone. Did it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Uh, this segment has been sponsored by Bullet Rye. If you like whiskey, please try Bullet Rye. Oh man, another nice lake trout. Actually, that's the biggest one yet. Look at that. Swallow this thing. Oh yeah. Look at that. Got into a fight with another lake trout. It's still morning. What time is it? Like 8? 8.30? Yeah. There's actually some cloud cover coming in. Right, so that's pretty exciting because um, we'll fish. They don't have eyelids, so some clouds over the sun is going to help them look up, which is where our baits are. It's going to probably turn them on the feeding, make them come a little bit shallower. Uh, on top of that, we'll get some air pressure changes. Um, and, you know, when the low pressure system comes in right before a rainstorm, it turns them on again a little bit. So a little bit of a pressure change, a little bit of a cloud cover. We're just gonna shake it up because we're marking a ton of fish here, but they're just not biting. So we just gotta wait for the conditions to change. And the best way to do that is to keep our baits in the water as long as possible. So when they do turn on, you know, when fish bite, they bite all at once. So. We're at 40 feet following this uh, river, and uh, you know, I'm trolling a jointed Rapala here. I think I got myself a Laker. Yeah, it feels nice like a nice one. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, I got it. That's a lake trap. That's what we're going for. You know, they, they definitely get bigger, but uh, that. Look at that. So that's that's a, that's a good lake trout. That's what we're going for here. Is it alive? I've been dragging it for a while. Yeah, yeah it's alive. Nice. Oh yeah, he's alive. Oh yeah. Yeah. Keep that as a keeper. Still at 40 feet deep here, so. Alright. That goes in the live well. <laughs> 